So this is the sax mute one and I do really like using it. But the thing that really bugs me about it is it has a tendency when you're playing to fall apart like this. The front will fall off. Really drives me crazy. So this week I set to and found a way that I could mod my sax mute one by adding on these clips. So a bit of an unconventional, different lesson for sax school today, but I just want to show you what these clips are, how I put them on. And uh, hopefully that'll help you if you've got a sax mute one and you're having the same problem as me. Hey guys, it's Nigel here from Sax School. So this is a sax mute one, and if you are looking for a way to play quieter, then this is definitely something to consider. I did a video where I was reviewing saxophone mutes, and this was the one I ended up chose, choosing, and I, and I bought this one, which I use in my studio here. Uh, you can watch the other video up here. Now the real shortcoming with this, though, it is a cheaper product than some of the other sax mutes on the market, but it does have this problem of falling apart. Now in the original design, the sax mute just holds itself together. There's a little lip around the edge. Snap it in like that, and then in the top, there is this little cord that clips over a metal part like that. I guess the idea is that it will hold itself together, but because it's made of plastic and it flexes, just give it one knock, knock and it does tend to do that, which is super frustrating. It didn't do that when I first got it, but within a few days, it started to do that quite a lot and it really drove me crazy. So I wanted to find a way I could use it more easily and not have that problem. So I went to Amazon and I managed to find some of these spring-loaded clips. Now I managed to get a box of these off Amazon. They were super cheap, just a few pounds. And I also got some small bolts. And uh, I wanted to find a way that I could mount these onto the side of the Saxmute one so that they would hold the, the case together. And I figured if I had two on each side, then that would be enough to do the job. The main problem that I came across though is the sax mute one is very curvy. So I need to find a way to overcome this so that I could mount those clips on and they would still uh, sit on and latch onto each other evenly. Now I happen to have a 3D printer here. So what I did is I designed some little parts to go in here. Let me show you. So these are the parts. There's nothing fancy about them all. They're literally just rectangular blocks. A bit of a curve on the end to match the actual clip like this and also the receiver so that they fit together nice and smooth like this. Now although there's a really big curve here there's enough flexibility that with the block being even that they fit it on quite well. So all I had to do was stick them on and I drilled a couple of holes through and bolted in this part and that part. You can see the bolts here. Now inside the each of the sax mute halves, there's this acoustic foam. So all I did was just pull back the foam a little bit so that I could get the nut on the back and drill the hole through from the front, bolt through a, uh, a nut on the back, tighten them up, Bob's your uncle. So it's a really simple system. If you wanted to get the STL file for this, I'll share this uh, in the comments down below. So it's a really simple fix, but I think it's quite elegant and it definitely works really, really well. So when I put my sax mute together now, literally just spring latch them all four, all the way around, two on this side, two on this side, like that, up and down, and then we're done. It never will come apart. There's no way you could you could use that as a suitcase now and it's never gonna come apart. It's super strong, it's super secure, and it means that I can get back to practicing without worrying about whether the sax mute's gonna come apart. Because actually, apart from this issue with it coming apart, the sax mute actually works great. It allows me to practice any time of the day or night, it gets rid of a lot of the volume, and uh, it sounds okay. So anyway, that's my hack on the sax mute one. Uh, let me know in a comment if you've tried something like this or if you managed to get something like this done. Um, let me know, email me and uh, send me a picture. I'd love to see what you managed to do with your sax mute as well. So there you go, I hope that's been useful. Don't forget to check out my original sax mute video. 
Uh, and uh, get in touch if you're looking for some upward saxophone lessons. Come and see what we're doing over at Sax School. There's lots of exciting things happening over there. Catch you next time.